Last week, I did a video on Sorbet, the new operating system for these aging Power PC Macs. It's a combination of Leopard and Snow Leopard, also known as 10.5.9. So today, I'm going to put Sorbet on my cube. But this is not just any ordinary cube. This is my modified G4 cube. We currently have a 1.4 gigahertz Sonnet Encore ST card in it. We also have an upgraded video processor card in it. And also we have other upgrades as well. So I'd like to take and put Sorbet on this. And I'm curious to see what kind of results we're going to get. So before we can put this system on this computer, what we need to do is I need to repartition the hard drive. So we'll go down here in Disk Utility. And let's look at the main drive here. So we're going to put it on this one here. And we're going to uh, rename it here. Now that noise you just heard was the autonomous fan controller kicking in and it is ramping up a little bit and hopefully you can see that and so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to give that a name here okay so we got that partition on the uh, drive here I have my original Leopard 10.5.8 and so this is the new partition that I created it's going to be a little bit bigger basically what we're going to do now is we are going to put Sorbet Leopard on this partition so that's the DMG right there I downloaded it it took a long time um, I copied it off my iMac via USB 3 on the desktop there so anyway, what we're going to do, hopefully, is we're going to restore it onto this partition. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, restore. So let's click this. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a restore. So we're going to drag that as the source disk. And then we're going to bring Sorbet Leopard. This is the partition and we're going to restore it. And we'll click that. And here we go. This is going to take a long time. That is a very large file. It's almost a 10 gigabyte file. And so I will come back when that is done. Okay, so it just finished up. And so now what we're going to do is we are going to get out of disk utility here. And then we're going to go into the uh, preferences here. And we're going to go up to startup disk. Sorbet disk there. And we're going to restart it. Let's see what happens. All right, so we should be starting up in Sorbet. First boot will take a little longer because it has to load up all that KTEX cache.
we are. We're getting into sorbet. There we go. Nice. So let's uh, click out of this here. And there will be a system tune-up on this thing too that we have to do. So let's see how uh, this web kit works on this cube. Now this should run pretty fast because like I said this has the 1.4 gigahertz Sonnet processor in it which we will be upgrading it to a 2.1 gigahertz newer tech. We're going to Apple's website now. Granted my internet is not very fast. And let's go to uh, Google and let's type in uh, YouTube and let's see how that pulls up YouTube on this thing. Now we are connected to the uh, Ethernet here. We're not o we're not over Wi-Fi on this. So let's click it here. Shouldn't get on it. So we're just going to let this load up here. Again, this is only 10 base 100 Ethernet. So we're going to let this load up. Oh, look at that. Looking pretty good there. Here. There we go. That looks pretty good, huh? There's a video I did last week on it on the uh, G5 iMac. The site actually plays YouTube pretty decently. Um, it's a little herky-jerky, uh, but when you let it load up for a little bit, it, as you can see, it's uh, doing pretty smooth. And this is one of the videos that I did on putting the autonomous uh, fan controller in the cube. But yeah, it uh, seems to be working pretty good. Uh, now we did all of the... Um, we'll pause that there. So we did all of the uh, updates on it as far as the uh, maintenance utility on it. It ran all the text through it, um, checking everything, tweaking it, and now it sees the speakers when I first put it on, or it didn't see the speakers, but after I ran the, that uh, update on it, and I powered it down and restarted it, it's, it, the audio works just fine on it now. I'm sure this would do just a little bit better if we had a little speedier internet but you can see it uh, scrolls pretty decently here sorry for the noise that's the fan running on the cube and the microphone's right up real close to it here but yeah it scrolls pretty good there i mean we can grab a hold of the little uh, aqua thing here and slide it not bad and like i said it would be a little better if the internet was a little more speedier because like I said I only have one meg upload on my internet and this is hooked to the ethernet so it's not going over the air as far as using the airport card in this uh, in fact it, the airport card works but it's not compatible with my network because of all of the uh, the WAN security on it I do have an older airport that I probably will make another network so I can get on the Wi-Fi with this and see how that works. But yeah, it's uh, working pretty good though. Now I did get the paid version of this software and I have not tried it yet. So I'm gonna download it on another machine and see what features it has over this. Now, supposedly, the paid version will have updates periodically. 
where this one does not. That's my understanding on this. And we can just look into the applications here. And you have your standard applications, just like you do in Leopard. Um, now you notice the WebKit is uh, combined with Safari. Because regular Safari, uh, let's just try it, see if it even loads up. Well, it loaded up. Let's try uh, Apple, let's go to their website, let's just see how fast that goes. I know regular Safari probably won't play YouTube. And this has, I know this does have a let's see what version this is. This has 5.0.6. Let's try YouTube. I'm just curious to see what it does here. Definitely taking a lot longer to load. So, so YouTube doesn't work very good. Let's go to WebKit. Let's see how much faster that is. Go to YouTube. Loads up YouTube much faster. Got the little spinny beach ball here. There we go. It's starting to load up YouTube already where the other Safari didn't even do that. So definitely a big difference on that browser. Like I said, this runs pretty smooth though. Let me get out of quit all this here. There we go. But yeah. And I have photo booth on here. Now what I'm gonna do is I have a eyesight camera I'll put on top of that. And then I'll have uh, my sight camera, and I'll hook it to the FireWire port on this. And we'll be able to uh, get some uh, actual uh, video on this thing. And let's see what version of QuickTime we have here. We have version 7.7. .7. Now on the regular Leopard, I have that tweaked pretty good. I have the whole suite of iLife on it. Numbers, pages, I have GarageBand on it. I have iMovie on it, because I've done a couple movies on this thing. And I have the uh, hacked version of iMovie on it, which is the newer version, which allows you to do a little higher resolution on it. So I'll be curious to see if uh, if I can move any of those files over and see if it'll work on this. Now this does not have any Intel code on it. You can go into the uh, dashboard here and we have the weather. Let's see if we can uh, put Sutter Creek in here. Hey, look at that. Sweet, there we go. Now we got our local stuff in here. Let's go to the time here. We need to fix that. Put this automatically here. 
There we go. All right. Change your time here. Here we go, Cupertino. There we go. Time here. Pretty good. All right. All right. Pretty good. Okay, so we got Sorbet installed on this just fine. Installation was perfect. We did the maintenance tune-up on it, and it actually gets on the internet pretty quick. Our internet's a little slow, and it would probably do a little bit better on YouTube if the internet was a little faster. But I'm very impressed with it running on the cube. So I hope you uh, like this video. I really appreciate it. We have lots of other projects coming up soon please subscribe and click that notification bell we're also on twitter and mewe you can check me out on twitter and mewe and you guys have a great rest of your week and i'll see you in the next video bye